Hey guys. Where are my guys in the house? My ladies. How are you all doing today? Yeah. If you're here, say hi. Let's begin. Let's start um, with this video, okay? Let's start with the live. Hey guys, are you there? If you're here, let me know, please, so that I will start, okay? Hey, beautiful people. Hello, Chinelo. What's up? Hi. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, okay. I think someone is here already. So we are going to begin right now. All right. Yes. I'm fine. <laughs> How are you, Chinelo? Wonderful. How are you? <laughs> All right, um, today I want to teach you guys about your hair. About, oh my God. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I want to teach you about your hair, your natural hair, in spirituality. Yes, your natural hair. This. Please, guys, don't call me. Don't call me, please. Don't call me now because I'm using this phone for live, all right? Yes. Network is poor. Yeah. Wow. I want to talk about your hair, your natural hair. Not like um, when you've added something to your hair. All right, many people do not know what your hair can do in spirituality. All right, someone approached me and said, um, Madam Omar, yeah, I saw a, a lady that was putting out as in putting hairs on the ground, like burying hairs, and many people, and she told me that. Uh, Auntie Omar, seriously, um, she told me it's for protection. She was burying hairs and she told her it's for protection. And I laughed. And I laughed, okay? I laughed. I said, how can burying your hair be for protection? How can burying her, your hair be for protection? I told her that ordinarily, ordinarily, your hair is part of you. Your hair is you. And then someone told you that they are burying this hair because they want to do protection. And the person gave her a false information that the hair is being buried with alligator pepper and it is for protection. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I asked her, I said, what, whose hair was she burying? Whose hair is that? Whose hair? She told me that it is her own hair. <laughs> I 
I said, how did she get your hair? She said, because this lady, whenever she wants to make her hair, she, she goes to her shop. All right. Yes. Uh, but she noticed that every time she will pack those hairs that people will come to her shop and uh, make their hair, all the hairs that drop on the floor, she will pack them. So she, one day she met her, you understand, bearing some hairs on the ground. I was like, really? And what did you tell her? What did you do when you saw it? How did you know that yours is one of the hairs that she was bearing? She said she asked the woman, said, I came to make my hair the other day, and I'm sure my hair is among these ones you're bearing. Why are you bearing these hairs? Why are you bearing these hairs on the ground? And this woman said it's for protection. <laughs> I laughed. I said, and you believed her. And you believed her that the hair is for protection. Wow. I told her that something is happening to you in spirituality. You understand? Something is happening to you spiritually. Someone has used your hair to do charm, to do diabolic stuff. And you are telling me that it is for protection. I told her, my dear, you need to go and look for that lady and you need to sort things out with her she is not bearing this hair for protection let me tell you what we what hair signifies in spiritual you cannot bury someone who is alive you cannot bury the person's hair someone who is breathing you buried her hair and this lady kept on complaining to me that there is nothing she is doing that is ever moving that every time she will buy goods in her shop and she is not making any money. I laughed. I told her, I said, how is this lady, that shop that used to go and make your hair, how is it? She said the shop is a very big one and this lady has branches all over. I told her, okay, this lady has been doing something with your hair. She has been burying people's hair. When they come to make hair in our shop, she will gather the remains of the hair and bury it. And this thing is not only is not only limited to ladies. This thing happens to barbers. Many people that do go to barbing salon, they cut hair and they leave it there. You turn your back, you don't know what it is being used for. You don't know what your hairs are being used for. You know. I now told her that. I told her, I gave her uh, uh, some things, some rituals to perform. So that at least whatever it is that this lady has done, I told her from that, from that very moment, she should quit going to that lady's shop. I don't want her ordinarily, I don't want her to go and approach that lady physically. Because if that lady eventually finds out, find, find out that, this, that she is aware of what she's doing with those hairs, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem for her. The lady might try to, you know, do something to her, you know, spiritually. So I just told her what to do. Please, guys, please, beware of where you make your hair. Beware of where you cut your hair. If, it's, if it means gathering your hair by yourself, go and burn it. Burn your hair by yourself. Burn your hair by yourself. Things are happening. Things are happening. There is nothing like someone wants to protect you. That is why the person is burying your hair with alligator pepe. The person is burying your hair. And the person is telling you that it's for protection. Protection from what? Are you her father? Are you her mother? And you want to protect her? I don't understand. Please, if you have noticed this kind of thing, or you have been a victim of such thing, you need to do something as soon as possible. They can even go as far as stealing your, as you are making money to be entering another person's pocket. You understand? Please. What we can do, you can do with um, hair, spiritually. What you can do with hair spiritually is when someone maybe someone is going uh is always you know stealing like a thief and an, an armed robber you know that someone has done something spiritually against that person 
and the person is mad, like the person is roaming the streets mad. You understand? The person is, is a thief and also roaming the streets mad. And you want to do something, you know, against the press as in to do, stop this thing from happening. That is where you can cut off the person's nails, cut off the hairs and the rest, and then bury it. But I tell you that the implication of this one is, is deadlier than what is happening to the person before. If you notice that somebody wants to do this kind of thing to you, the person will not be normal again. That is what somebody will come and say, that they are taking your hair for protection. They are burying your hair for protection. Now, this is why I'm addressing this thing is that this is not the first time I'm getting this kind of, I'm hearing this kind of thing. Eh? You say, my friend told me about this some weeks ago. Yes, yeah, someone said, so, uh, her friend told her about this some weeks ago. Why would you bury her and um, alligator pepper for protection? You are not a spiritualist. Everything you see, you go and do. You are not a spiritualist. Whatever you read online, whatever you see on Facebook, whatever you see, you go and do. You can't start practicing it. Why will you do such thing? You are living. You are a living human. The only person you can bury their hair is a dead person. Why should you bury your hair? Why should someone tell you that they are burying your hair and alligator pepper? Because they want to protect you. Don't you know you ha they, ha they, are they, are they, are they have succeeded in turning you into a living, into a living corpse? A walking corpse. Corpse that has nothing in it again. Let's be very careful. All right? Wow, my friend told me about this some weeks ago. She told me to bury my hair with alligator pepper. That nobody can kill me if I do it. Eh? Thank God I didn't do so. My my sister, my sister, don't do that. Please. Huh? People would looking for cheap popularity. You understand? How possible is that? You, 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 you just, you know, you advise people to go, out, to go ahead and do these things when you know that they are not, they are not ideal. What are you going to gain if these people die? What are you going to gain if you steal these people's destiny? What are you going to gain if you, I don't know. And people will continue to be doing these stuff. And you're telling me you want to protect yourself. From what exactly? From what exactly? We've been teaching you guys how to protect yourselves around here. You understand? I've been teaching you guys how to protect yourselves, you know, using our natural remedy. Natural remedy. Don't go about burying your hair. Don't go about burying your hair. And the, another one that is that is making me very angry here is some people that they, are, they will tell you that they are not ritualists, whereas they will see where someone had an accident. They will go and take the person's blood and give to some people to do money ritual for them. This is another one. Someone came to my inbox and be asking me, eh, Mommy Omar, please, I'm sorry to ask. Uh, what if uh, I did not do, I did not kill anybody, I've not killed anybody, but um, I took some blood from somebody who had an accident and uh, they used it to do something for me. And I have been enjoying uh, 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 money that is coming in from it. But um, I'm having maybe my, my mind, my conscience is telling me that is wrong. You have decided to render a living man or woman useless. You've used the person for ritual. So you don't know. Oh, sorry. You think it's only when you come and kill somebody, that is when you are using the person for ritual, Abby. You are telling so you are taking somebody's blood, someone who had an accident. You took the person's blood. And you took it for them to do ritual for you, money ritual. Abby, and you are not calling yourself a money ritualist. You are not calling yourself a blood money ritualist because you feel you have not killed anybody. 
you have not thought of what that man that had an accident that was unconscious what that woman that had an accident that was unconscious what the person is going through at the moment right you haven't asked yourself all that matters to you is that that very person is um that uh, all that matters to you is that that very person is he had an accident and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it matters it matters it matters a whole lot as a matter of fact you have decided to render that person's life useless all right you have rendered the person useless if you don't know know it now If you don't know, know it now. All right? The person is no longer going to be him or herself. It's not going to be the same person ever again. That is the kind of wicked world that we are in. Many people will be parading themselves, saying that they want to help. They want you to help them. They should bring uh, somebody's blood, someone that had an accident. You will bring the person's blood. They will tell you that they will deceive you that you are not doing money. This is not a blood money ritual. Hi, God. All these people calling me, please. So please, 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 please. <laughs> I'm on live. All right. So please, let's be very careful what we do. Because these things can come out and haunt you tomorrow. It might not happen now. But it will eventually happen tomorrow. These things can come and haunt you, and you will not know. You will not know where your problem is coming from. Tomorrow, <laughs> the same spirit that requested for that blood to give you money, for the blood of an unconscious human, for the blood of someone who had an accident and doesn't know anything that is going on that same spirit will request for human beings in your family that same spirit will request for blood more blood from you if you don't know know it now hmm? before if 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 someone is doing something for you use your brain don't just you know because you you're looking for money because you're looking for money you will do what you are you are going to, as in you will just go and enter Another thing that will become disastrous for you and your entire generation. You understand? Yes. All right, guys. Um, that being said, yesterday I made like a live video on um, spiritual husband and spiritual wife. And a lot of people came to ask me, how far, what's up, what am I going to, what, what am I going to do and all that. Uh, the first thing you have to do is that to find out where you belong, who you are. There is always a solution for every problem on earth. All right? There is always a solution. What matters is that you find out who you are, where you come from. All right? Before we know how to tackle it. Like I told you guys that there are different places one can come from. All right. But the problem the, with all this is that everybody has spiritual spouses, like I told you. But the most active ones are always mariners. You understand? Mariners, the ones that come from what? From the water. All right. They are the most active ones. They are, in fact, their own is always disastrous. When they start, they will make sure that they cause trouble in your life. They put confusion in your life. When it's time for you to get married, you will not get married. Even if you marry, problem will be arising in your marriage. Sometimes you discover that to even have your own children is a problem. Even if you have children, you will be battling with one problem or the other. It could be they can decide to strike you with sickness. Yes, they do it. Mariners do it. They do it. People that have spiritual calling too, it can happen to them. You understand? Try and find out who you are and where you belong. It will help you. 
You understand? It might, it must not be me. Do it. You can, any other person can do it for you. But what matters is that you are getting a solution to your problem. Don't just, you know, stay there and things are going on, you know, things are not working for you. You just start, stay there and, and you are doing nothing. Do you understand? And you are doing nothing about it. You know? You know? So please, don't just go around, you know, stay like that without doing something. Try and do something. If you have a gift, try and develop it. You might be the solution to the problem that people are having. They need you. All right? Try and always pray with cola not. You understand? Offer some prayers to God. When I'm talking about God, Ezenu, the king in heaven. That is the God I'm talking about. Offer some prayers to him. You can face the east. That is facing the sun and um, the direction of sunrise. Face it and offer and offer offer prayers to God. Tell him that you're tired, that you want you want something to start happening in your life. If you know that you are from fire elements or sun elements, go and do this. Do this for seven days. You there is no how you will not testify. There is no how you will not testify. Do you understand? Get cola nuts. The one that has four, that's, you know, four cotyledonous cola nuts. Get it. All right? Get it. Use it and pray facing the east. After praying, you go to the three junction and drop this cola nuts. Go to three junction and drop this cola nuts there. Don't break the cola nuts. Don't break it. I did not say pray with color, not break it and eat. Eat with the, with uh, with God or maybe we eat with your guardian angel. No. I said, don't break this color, not. When you are done, just go and keep it at the three junction. If there is someone that is after your family, listen to me. If there is someone that is after your family and you want to do something to so that the ancestors will fight for you. Your ancestors will fight for you. Take cola nut, four cotyledons. Take cola nut, four cotyledons. Face the rising sun and speak to this cola nut. Call on your ancestors. Tell your ancestors what you are going through. After you let your ancestors know the problem you are facing, the next thing you would do is to bring it down. When you bring it down, you set out. Make sure that you do the perform this ritual during when the sun, when the sun has, when the sun. Oh, joy, Asolo. <laughs> You're welcome. Hello. <laughs> you know, make sure that you do this. At rising sun, when the sun is there, don't do it when the sun has when the when the sun has set in the evening. No, do it when the sun has risen. All right, go to the uh, rising sun and speak whatever it is that you want to speak. Talk to this caller not. Call upon your ancestors that you are tired. If there is anything that that was done before you or before your birth that you are praying and begging them that they should not put you in it. They should have, have mercy and fight this battle for you. Do you understand? They should fight this battle for you. Then you set out. Take this color knot to the three junction. Don't break it. Drop it there. Do this for three days. Do it for three days. Then the fourth one, you will break the cola nut. All right? 
<laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate Joya Solo. You are the best, and I love you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. So you just go there and drop it. Do it for three nights. The fourth one, you just do what? You break it. When you break it, you drop it outside. Don't eat the kohala nut. You are not here to dine and wine with your ancestors or your spirit guides. Go and drop it there. But if you know that you don't know your guiding angel, you have not recognized your guiding, guiding angel, you don't know anything about your guiding angel, you can communicate with your guiding angel with kohala nut. All right? Use kohala nut and communicate with your guiding angel. Oh, wow. Phone network. Communicate with your guiding angel. Use kohala nut. Look at what you will do. Listen to me. Buy kohala nut. Buy kola nuts, native kola nuts, please, not the uh, uh, agric kola nuts. No, buy the native kola nuts every morning. Every morning, when you wake up, don't speak to anybody. Don't talk to a man. Don't talk to a woman. Before you proceed with this, make sure that. You have not committed an abomination. When I talk of, about an abomination, abomination I mean is shedding of blood. Be it an abortion. You have not slept with your relative. You have not practiced what is called lesbianism or homose uh, gay, that's homosexual. You have not slept with a married man or a married woman if you know that these things because this we call this self-abomination this i'm not talking about maybe something that your ancestors that your ancestors committed or something no i'm talking about abominations that you have committed on your own if you know that you are clean enough from this then embark on this journey connect with your guiding angel it is paramount makana my people na sina my people Igbo people sina chibuzo chijoke your guiding angel has your share and your guiding angel comes first make sure that you recognize your guiding angel if you know that you are clean from all days but if you know that you are not clean from all days that you have a problem with these please cleanse yourself first cleanse yourself spiritually first before you can do this okay you cannot be like this and expect your guiding angel and you to have a good relationship your guiding angel will be frowning at days let alone god himself you need to do cleansing there is a way it is done in spirituality that is not the topic of today okay great when you get this color note if you are free when you get this color note you pray over it if you have already known your market day if you are from ak and you are a woman you mention Mweke. If you are from Ori, you are a woman. You mention Ori. Afo wafo. Mkwo, mwankwo. If you are a man, Okeke, Okafo, Okore, Okonkwo. If you are not an Igbo, you are born in the East, in the West, and the North and South. They are the same thing. Find out what it is called in your dialect. Okay, find out. It will help you. When you are praying with this color nuts, you call upon 
your guardian angel. But the first thing you will call is God. Our Chukwo Kitabiyama, that is the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of the whole universe, is the first that comes when you are praying. You cannot start your prayer without thanking God or without acknowledging God. After acknowledging God, you now talk about your guardian angel. After your guardian angel comes your ancestors, comes your reincarnate, and comes all the good spirits, your spirit guides. But today we are talking about your guardian angel. When you speak with your guardian angel, you tell your guardian angel that you want him or her. Now, let me tell you, your guardian angel, you can actually be a woman while your guardian angel is a man, is a, ma is a male spirit. That's true. Because you're a female does not mean that your guardian angel must be a female. Or because you're a male, it doesn't mean your guardian angel must be a male. You understand? Your guardian angel can actually be a different gender from you. But there are some female guardian angels that perform like, that act like the male guardian angels. All right? You let your guardian angel that you want to know, you want him or her to come and open as in spiritually to show him, him as in himself or herself to you. Do you understand? You want to recognize your guardian angel. You want to know him or her. So long as you start praying and you are clean enough, you will start seeing the signs when you are sleeping. Your guardian angel can appear as someone else totally because you will not even know. Can appear and come and show himself or herself to you in the dream. I've had cases of people that when I told them what to do and all that, after they did, they told me, look at what they saw, look at what they saw. And later on, it happened just the way it was opened. It was, you know, revealed in the dream. It will come and show himself or herself to you in the dream. As you have gotten to this level, you know that you have a relationship with your guardian angel. Then you can start opening up little things. Now, I want to tell you something. The day you recognize your guardian angel, don't go and start saying that you need house. You need house. You need a car. You need your guardian angel to do this for you, to do that for you. And all this while you have not recognized your guardian angel, you don't have any personal relationship with your guardian angel. It looks like you're coming back to him or her because of the things you're going to gain from him or her. Leave those things aside for now. The first thing is to recognize your guardian angel. When you recognize your guardian angel, if you want to, there are some people that, that offer sacrifices, you know, to their guardian angels. There are some that do what? They are dangerous givers. There's a they clear road for themselves with giving. All right? They go to, they can go to uh, all these... Uh, They make it a routine to always go to beggars to give them all right they always give beggars they always give the less privileged ones they visit the orphanage that is their own way of sacrificing mostly people that are in church they give a lot they give arms they are watering their grounds that is the essence of this their sacrifices they water their grounds. It will make their guiding angel to be very close to them. While some will offer blood sacrifices of animals in the traditional way, they will offer blood sacrifices. Find out what you have to do, but be very close to your guiding angel. It will help you in life. All right, guys. So this is what I said. Let me come and teach you guys today. Let me share with you guys. All right. Thank you very much. Um, do have a wonderful day. Bye.